Hi, I'm Marius from Mways Photography. Welcome back to the second video on the Rode SmartLav Plus Lavalier Mic, where I'm going to show you how you sync your audio from your external recorded audio file to your camera footage. Now, this is very important because when you bring in your video footage and your audio files, if you don't sync them up properly, your audio and your video is going to lag. So you're going to see your mouth moving and then the audio is only going to catch up or maybe the audio will be faster than the video and your mouth moving and your audio won't be in sync. Okay, now this is very nice using this method because if you've got a camera that does not support an external microphone, like for instance, let's say the Canon PowerShot S650, and you don't want that terrible built-in microphone sound, you can use an external recorder, um, you can use like the SmartLav Plus, record external audio, and bring that into your video. Now it's very easy to sync the file. I'm going to show you how to sync the audio in the video. Now I'll be using a Adobe Premiere Pro and then when you look here at my timeline you'll see I've got here my video file this is my Nikon SLR camera and below it this is the audio this is the video file from the Nikon and this is my audio file you'll notice the audio is the peaks when you look at the wave waveform it's very soft it's very subtle and that's because the camera is a few meters away from me so only when I'm talking very loud or when I'm clapping you can see there exactly why I used my where I used my hands to clap if I go there you can see there because the sound is very loud that's where the peak is going to be in the waveform okay then below that I've got the Tascam DR05 and then below that, I've got the SmartLav Plus connected to my LG G3. Okay, now when you look at these three files, you'll notice the SmartLav Plus, the audio recording is much louder. If you look at the waveforms, if I zoom in a bit, you'll notice it's much louder, the waveform, compared to if you look at this camera audio, there's the Tascam and there's the SmartLav Plus. So I would have preferred a little bit softer audio recording, but I just got the SmartLav Plus, so I'm still figuring out the software, and that's also where, why I'm very irritated with Rode for not releasing an Android version of Rode Rec, because I'm sure I would have had even more control with my audio levels if I used that than using um, the Rec Forge 2, which I'm still getting used to. But yes, so let's get to the syncing part. Okay, so when you bring in your files, when you zoom in closer, you'll see you can zoom into the audio file and you can see exactly where your peaks are. So if I go exactly to the point where we clapped the hand, there we go. I'm going to zoom a little bit closer. Now this is the video footage from the from the first video that I shot, and I've already aligned all everything here. But if you take it out of sync, for instance, there we've got that audio track is now moved. So when I'm going to play it back, you should hear that. Listen to my voice. Now it's going to pick up that extreme. It's got a terrible echo in there because one of the audio files are not in sync anymore. Let's go back to the clapping section. So when I want to put it in sync, I just move that closer to there. I saw this from another person's YouTube video. So wherever you are, you are a lifesaver. <laughs> There's a very nice um, method you can use to have more control over this section to move it more precisely so that those do align and your audio comes out perfectly. Okay, so when you look in this corner right here, there's a, a little drop down, a uh, little triangle thingy there. So if I click on that, it's got an option here that says show audio time units. Now I've got this turned on permanently because it helps me a lot. If I click on that, you'll notice I can zoom in here even further to the audio track. And I can see exactly where all the peaks in the waveform is. So I can now take this file and I can move it very slowly. I can move the audio track until I've got all three of them aligned perfectly. So this is a huge time saver. So listening to the audio file, I've got the speakers in my room here turned down fairly uh, soft. So I've got it very soft because if I make the audio in the room loud, that. Now it's going to pick up that extreme like pitch in the audio, and when I've got that in Premiere, I can just align okay, so those when two, you listen to the file and now, then I can the set the, the audio perfectly fine, you'll we'll see that when we shoot the next video. That's how you get the audio in sync. If I turn down the volume, or just disable the volume of the SmartLav, and I disable the volume of the Tascam, this is camera audio. 
if it calls the camera and the phone is not so when you listen together, to this you'll know you it's, need to it's it soft manually, but it's, it's, very easy it's got no do. oomph to it there's no that. deep bass okay, in, my, so in my voice i'm just going to zoom out and now. just go Maybe. back to the beginning of the track so i can talk while this thing is playing it's good to the have audio just isn't great that when you've got so i'm going to turn that off i usually just keep it there to see where I need to sync my audio file with. And you'll notice when your files go much longer, the duration of your video, maybe it's 20 minutes or 15 minutes or something, you'll notice gradually your audio in your video will go out of sync a little. Then you usually just use this cutting tool here and just cut to the, the audio track from your recorder and just slightly adjust it on a little bit and you'll notice it will keep in sync again. Okay, so this is the sound of the Tascam DR05 camera now but that levels You'll notice that's showing you the volume much, as recording. Much better when you see a very large peak in the there audio. you can use that and this is what i've been using to sync the audio now, together to so this, if you've got a I clapper like, like they've got in the movies that. you can use that otherwise okay so when i turn on the smart lab this is why i said it's a little bit on the loud side i'm still getting used it's to a very settings. affordable option just clap but your hands so just say okay the audio is now sinking yeah and you go like that so now it's going to pick up that extreme pitch in the audio good. and when i've got that in premiere i can just align those two okay so when you export your video once you've done all your editing and you export it you can disable the tracks you don't want so for instance i want to maybe and i have only the test cam i can disable the smart lab i can disable the audio track there um, from the d7000 and when i'm exporting the video it's only going to save this audio file from the test cam instead of using all three of them then another thing when you bring in an audio file sometimes it's going to look like this or oh, it's mostly going to look like this when you drag it in, especially if it's not coming from the camera and it's in a second audio file. It's going to look flat like that. You'll notice when I can do the same with audio 3 here. So you can't really see the waveform, so you can't align them. You'll notice when you look at the audio 1 here from the camera, that little triangle is pointing down. So if I do the same here, and I, it says the collapse expand track, I'm going to expand it by clicking there, and then you can see all the waveforms. Because this is important, you need to constantly keep track of the waveforms to see to see when something is going either out of sync or when you want to sync the audio in the video. And that's about that for syncing your files. Especially, just remember use this option: show audio time units. It's a real life save, and it makes it really easy to sync the footage together. And that's that for this video. And I hope you learn a lot and have fun putting together your YouTube videos. And I'll see you in a video again soon. Bye.